Rock gardens are a place where you can grow plants that will naturally grow in rocky environments. Many of these are alpine plants, however there are lots of other plants that grow in rocky environments that aren't alpine plants. The rocks themselves not only provide a great focal point, but they also provide an environment for the plants to grow in. Plants can be placed in small pockets between the rocks. The roots of the plants can go down beneath the rocks where they retain moisture. And also in rock gardens you'll notice that there's lots of mulch used. This is to lift the plants up a little so the crowns of the plants don't remain moist. This can be done using a wood chip mulch, but more effectively is a gravel mulch. The orientation of your rock garden is important because this orientation needs to reflect the extremes of your environment. So in warm climates, you need to orientate your rock garden so that it faces away from the sun. In cooler climates, it's orientated to face the sun so you get more light and warmth. So let's take a look at a range of these tough, hardy little plants that you can grow in rock gardens, but also in the general garden. We start with Achillea argentea. This is a mat forming perennial and it makes a great little ground cover. Androsace, Laguninosa, or woolly rock jasmine is a low growing evergreen ground cover with very attractive small flowers. Armeria maritima, commonly called thrift, is evergreen, it's a low growing plant with pink or white flowers. Geranium magnificum, the purple crane's bill, flowers from early to midsummer. This is a mounding plant with flowers that attract bees to the garden. And this is a dwarf yellow poker plant. It's smaller growing than the common red hot pokers and it's got yellow flowers. Very attractive addition. Pulsatilla vulgaris, the pask flower. A clump forming perennial, flowers early in the season. Pulsatilla patent is called the eastern pask flower. Either purple or white flowers on this one. And check out the seed heads that appear on this one after the flowers are finished. They're an added attraction. And if you're lucky, it might even self-seed. Helianthemum, wisely pink, is one of the rock roses. It tolerates hot sunny conditions, masses of flowers and attractive silvery leaves. Another Helianthemum and this one with bright yellow flowers over a long period. And this is a tough deep rooted plant. You can give it a little bit of extra water during long dry summer periods. You can shear it back lightly after it's flowered to encourage more flowers and perhaps a little fertiliser. Little blood and bone or a little aged cow manure. Rhodohypoxus meliordes, pink star grass, rosy pink flowers and grass-like foliage and this is a really low growing little plant. Geranium renardii, the Corsican crane's bill. Rounded, soft, velvety leaves, pale pink to white flowers with really fine magenta stripes. Helianthemum belgravia rose, early flowering and also a prolific flowering plant. Geranium sanguinium, the bloody crane's bill. Cut this one back after flowering for a repeat show of flowers. This is one of the many poppy or papaver species. Potentilla fruticosa, commonly called the shrubby sink foil, yellow flowers, compact growth habit and easy care. This is thymus, pink chintz and there are lots of different varieties of thyme. Iris Pacific Coast, also called the Californian iris, evergreen foliage and very attractive flowers. Babiana stricta, commonly called the baboon flower, helianthemum, Numerellum yellow, another rock rose, a mat forming evergreen ground cover. Dianthus cruentus, the blood carnation, a lovely little alpine species, deep red flowers and grassy foliage. Geranium antipodum, pink spice, it's a dwarf crane's bill with small pink flowers. Scutellaria indica, japonica, alba, this is a white flowering variety 
It's a slow-growing, spreading perennial that will grow in part shade. Astrantia major buckland. This is a great variety. It's a bushy, upright perennial, long flowering, a strong grower, and it will grow in full sun to dappled shade. Elfin thyme with its minute foliage. Azarella trifocata is a mound forming plant from Chile, Argentina and Tierra del Fuego and it does require a little moisture during dry periods. Scleranthus biflorus is another low ground mound or cushion forming plant best in full sun to afternoon shade especially in warmer areas. This is a new planting and it's Salamisia pugoniformis commonly known as the slender snow daisy or dagger leaf salmisia, potentilla recta warrenii, also known as the sulphur sink foil, and this is a vigorous perennial. We have a full list of the plants featured in the notes below the video, along with links to resources that may be useful. There's more information on rock gardens in the notes below the video, including links to the Scottish Rock Garden Society, the North American Rock Garden Society and the Czechoslovakian Rock Garden Society. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a range of garden plants including edible plants, succulents, trees and shrubs. And as always, good luck with your gardening.